Hey, what's up, guys? It's Kyle 9965 here, giving you another SmackDown review. Um, it's about 10:45. Um, got home kind of late, uh, but I had recorded SmackDown on the DVR, but I did watch it tonight. Um, but before I get into the SmackDown review, I just want to let you guys know I picked up Beast Wars Transformers. I recommend you guys pick this up. I like the, uh, I, um, I like buying uh, different old cartoons that I grew up watching when I was a kid, like Sonic the Hedgehog. I have the whole collection series of uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but I bought this today, Beast Wars, the complete first season, comes with, uh, one, two, three, comes with four discs, so, um, and all together, it's like ten hours, uh, worth of episodes on here all together, so the complete first season, four discs of Beast Wars for twenty dollars, I bought at Target, you can't beat that, so if you guys were fans, ever fans of Transformers or Beast Wars, and like, Watching the stuff that you used to watch growing up as kids, I recommend you pick this up. Like I said, for four discs, complete first season, twenty dollars at Target or Walmart, not bad. Up to the SmackDown review. Um, so the SmackDown opened up uh, with Johnny Ace and Teddy Zero along talking about uh, Battle Royal, and the winner of the Battle Royal will get a World Championship title match later that night of their choosing. So it was like I think four to one, four to one man Battle Royal, which Randy Orton won. And Randy Gordon decided to choose uh, to face Mark Henry for the World Heavyweight Championship. Uh, after that, the next match we had was uh, oh god, I can't, I forgot the first match. Uh, I think the well, the Battle Royal was the first match, but the match after that was uh, Kelly Kelly versus uh, Beth Phoenix. Nothing special. Didn't last long. Beth Phoenix gets the victory on Kelly Kelly. After that, we get a match with uh, uh, Sin Cara. Oh, we actually got a backstage, a backstage segment with where uh, the black Sin Cara beat up the blue Sin Cara, took his mask, and put his mask on his face. Put the blue Sin Cara's mask on his face. So, um, the black Sin Cara came out. The black Sin Cara came out and uh, beat Justin Gabriel. Um, I don't know why, but they seem to have Justin Gabriel is now it's like a jobber. Which I think would be completely utterly stupid because Justin Gabriel is a great talent. Um, anyway, after that we got a match with um Sheamus versus Alberto De Rio. I thought this was a really good match. I thought it was the best match on the entire car. Um so I liked this match a lot. But um Edge ended up causing the the causing the distraction for Sheamus which gave Alberto De Rio the edge and caused Alberto to beat Sheamus. Then after that, we got into a tag match with Coffee Kingston and Zack Ryder versus Dolph Ziggler and um, Jack Swagger. Um, this match was good. Um, one thing I can say about Jack, uh, not Jack Swagger, but um, Zack Ryder is that uh, I, I see something in Zack Ryder. I, I like Zack Ryder. He's starting to grow on me. Um, you know, some people may consider him overrated. Some people consider Zack Ryder underrated. Um, I, I, I'm not on either side. I don't think he's underrated, but I don't think he's overrated either. I don't know. I'm kind of like in between. Um, so I can't really judge. But, um, Zack Ryder, I, I definitely see, is, I think he can definitely be a crowd favorite. And he's not a bad wrestler. I think he's a good wrestler. And, uh, I like his character. I think his character is, uh, is pretty funny. Um, you know, it's funny, and it's, it's a character that a lot of people can get behind and enjoy. You know, he's like, the, he's a surfer boy, kind of like type of gimmick that he has. Woo, 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 you know it. Um, but Coffee Kingston and Zack Ryder end up getting this match. Um, like I said, it was a good match for what it was. Um, I don't know if I can just, one thing I can say, though, I don't know if I can get used to Jack Swagger and Dolph Ziggler being together as a cohesive tag team. It just, I don't know. Dolph, Dolph Ziggler and uh, Jack Swagger don't really, to me, I don't think, complement each other very well as a tag team. But, um, you know, I like Jack Swagger a lot. And I like Dolph Ziggler a lot, too. Um, definitely, I believe these guys are going to be future, you know, main eventers, world, world champions. Although Swagger was already a former world champion, and so was Ziggler, but it's, forgot, it's forgotten um, from a lot of people. But anyway, um, you know, if if putting Jack Swagger on the tag team with Dolph Ziggler, if that's the way of WWE to, if that's the way to keep 
Jack Swiper relevant and to keep him on TV, then I say go ahead, go ahead and do it. But I just, I just can't get behind Swiggle, Ziggler and Swagger as a tag team like I can Miz and Truth. Now Miz and Truth, I think, complement each other very well because of their characters. They just complement each other very well as a tag team. But Swagger and Ziggler, uh, I don't know. But anyway, um, then after that, we got to the main event, Randy Orton versus uh, Mark Henry the world week for the World Championship. Um, before I get into the details of this, I mean, it's like, how many more Mark Henry, Randy Orton matches are we going to have? I mean, we had one of the champions where Henry won the title. Randy got his rematch. Um, it, it held the cell. He lost. And, you know, since then, they've been kind of fighting off and on, not having, like, official matches, but just fighting off and on. I mean, like, I don't know about you guys, but I, let somebody else fight Mark Henry for the world title or get into a few with Mark Henry. And I know he's got a thing with Big Show going on to the pay-per-view um, in the next couple of weeks at Vengeance. But, I mean, like, besides Big Show, like, put Sheamus in there, you know, or something. But I'm kind of tired of Randy Orton and Mark Henry. You know, Mark Henry just beat him twice. It's like, been there, done that, move on. Why are you still around? You had your shot, you lost. Um, but anyway, uh, this match wasn't, wasn't bad, you know, like I said, not expecting it to be a five-star quality match, um, you know, due to the size of Henry and stuff like that, and the kind of wrestler that Randy Orton is. Not saying Randy's bad. I think Randy's one of the best wrestlers in, in this generation today. But, um, like I said, this, this match wasn't bad. It wasn't like a snore fest. I actually think this match that they had tonight on SmackDown was better than the one that they had tonight at Champions. I don't know if some people can agree with me on that or not agree, but I just I thought this match was better. But anyway, um, Mark Henry just dominating Randy Orton, as usual. Cody Rhodes comes in, uh, you know, calls a disqualification for the match. So, you know, obviously, you know, Henry's still the champ. And as Cody Rhodes and Mark Henry double-teaming double on uh, Randy Orton, Big Show comes in, and Big Show beats up on Mark Henry and, uh, and beat up on Cody Rhodes. And the show just ends with uh, Big Show giving Mark Henry a choke slam for the second week in a row. And that's it. Um, and like I said, I, the, this one thing I don't understand with WWE, like, okay, they build Mark Henry as this incredible heel, you know, for like for the, the last four or five months, they build him up to be this incredible, unstoppable heel to get to the point to where he's at now where he's the world heavyweight champion. And now that Mark Henry's the world champion, I mean, for the past, what, three weeks now, he's been getting the fights with Randy Orton, and Randy Orton has been like getting the upper hand on Mark Henry and just, just fighting. Not, not not an official match, but just fighting. You know, Randy Orton's getting the upper hand on, on Mark Henry. Uh, Mark Henry got the crap beat out of him, got destroyed by Big Show last Friday on SmackDown. And then tonight, he gets beaten up by Randy Orton and Big Show again. Tonight on SmackDown. Like, okay, if you're going to build Mark Henry as a strong heel, still keep him as a strong heel as the champion. Like, don't make him a strong heel leading up to the championship, and then once he gets it, then you have him just being, like, dominated by Randy and Big Show. Let him continue to be a dominant heel and force as the world heavyweight champion. And I think by, you know, having Big Show have the last stand, or, or you know, or, or beat Mark Henry, you know, for the past two weeks, and then have Randy Orton, you know, have the, Randy Orton has his, you know, his out, outrage, you know, temper tantrums that he has, you know, getting there for hand on Mark Henry here and there. It take it takes it takes steam away from Mark Henry's like ginormous monster like heel persona that he's given. I just think it just takes steam from that. But like I said, all in all, I thought SmackDown was okay. Um it wasn't uh it wasn't a snore fest or anything like that. Um but it wasn't like the best SmackDown either. But it was it was good. I'll just say that. It was good. Um I was kind of, I was kind of expecting a little bit more, um, considering that you know this was supposed to be like a celebration show of SmackDown, you know, celebrating SmackDown is the second longest reigning uh, televised program after Raw. So you know, if it was a celebration for that, I was kind of expecting a little bit more. Um, you know, CM Punk didn't even get a match. I mean, CM Punk was in the Battle Royal, but you know, I would prefer you know seeing giving you know giving CM Punk a spot tonight on SmackDown or something. But um, like I said, it was it was it was, nice that was okay. Um, like I said, the best match to me was Sheamus and Alberto Del Rio. That was the best match. Um, the only thing I will say to you, um, Sheamus that cut a promo on Christian. 
I can't remember everything you said, you know, verbatim, word for word. But uh, it was pretty funny. I will say that since Seamus has become a face, Seamus has gotten better in his mic skills because I I like the story. I like his his Irish stories that he always tells about his uncle, his grandfather, stuff like that. It's it's funny stuff. Um, you know, and and it and it adds, you know, um, you know, another layer to Seamus's, I guess, you know, mic skills or whatever. So let me know what you guys think of tonight's SmackDown. Like the video, comment, subscribe. Peace out.